Hello everyone, welcome back again to the other 167 channel. Greetings and love to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you guys have been blessed by the messages that we are sharing in this channel. The topic that we have taken today is water baptism. So without wasting any more time, let's welcome Pastor Thomas Omen. Welcome to the other 167. I'm so glad to come into your homes once again after a small break. Today, I would like to dwell on the topic, water baptism. Well, this is one topic which has been misunderstood by many, including Christians. Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew chapter 28, the 19th verse, go and therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. So what is baptism? Baptism is a ceremony where a believer in Jesus Christ is fully immersed in water by a pastor or a priest in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit in remembrance of the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Who does this? One who believes in Jesus Christ. No one else will feel like doing it. So once you, you started believing in Jesus Christ, you are following a commandment of His. And what you do on the day of baptism is when you're standing in the, in the water that signifies Jesus Christ on the cross and what happened on the cross he was crucified and he died on the cross so that denotes that all your sins have been forgiven and it is crucified to the cross and when you are immersed in water it signifies the burial of Jesus Christ and then when you emerge out of the water that signifies the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So when you were, when Jesus Christ was buried, and since you believe in Jesus Christ, all your past sins and your past nature is buried. And since you believe that Jesus Christ was resurrected on the third day, and when you emerged out of the water, you are a new man in Christ. Your old is gone away. Your past is forgiven. And now onwards you are a new man in Christ. This is what is known as baptism. And this is what you are actually doing there on the day of baptism. And you do it because you believe in Jesus Christ. There are many churches which are going ahead with a system of child baptism. Child baptism is not mentioned in the Bible. It is a doctrine from man and therefore it would be advisable not to go ahead with that kind of a practice. Because the word clearly says and Jesus himself did it. He did not get baptized as a child. He, he received baptism at an age when he understood what it is to believe in his heavenly father. Similarly, until and unless a person understands the value of believing in Jesus Christ and his atoning sacrifice, there is, there is no value in a baptism, in a water baptism. Once a person believes in Jesus Christ, automatically that person will have an urge 
you didn't have to see. So therefore, even if you have undergone a child baptism, please make sure that you take an adult baptism, an a, a baptism which will uh, qualify you and um, make you satisfied that you obeyed a commandment from Jesus Christ himself. This is all for in this episode. In the next episode, I would like to share with you uh, the purpose and the significance of water baptism. Till then, have a blessed time ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to thank Pastor Omen for sharing this wonderful message. If you like this video and want to hear more like this video, please do like, share and subscribe it with your friends. Have a great and blessed week ahead. Thank you.